Hi, Scorpio. So this is going to be your love messages of the week. So let's see what's up in the love department. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys give me. So I'm giving you guys a love reading. Um, if you guys do want to book with me, I'm now open for personal readings. Lizzie Tarot 1010 at gmail.com. I'm also doing $5 cash app questions via email only. Um, so basically, you guys would check out my cash app, cash app me the $5 email me and then email me your question and i will email you back your answer so i am doing now that so let's get into the reading so we do have for yourself it's time to take back control of your life so i feel like when it comes to love you tend to put everyone else before you um and not fill up your own cup you fill up everybody else's but yours so spirit god and the angels really want you to um, take control back into your life, not really stress when it comes to work, stress about this, stress about that. I feel like sometimes it's hard for you to, um, not really control the situation. Um, my Scorpios like a certain way of everything. If it's not my way, it's a highway and you want everything to be perfect. So I feel like you really need to focus, um, find balance when it comes to your love life because... The same routine is kind of affecting you. You're getting bored, you're getting annoyed, you're getting frustrated. You're not really seeing the outcome. And also says children. Your love life could be affected by children. So maybe you have kids or you've been with someone for a while and the fact that you can't get pregnant and you guys have been together, you guys are married or you guys aren't married or you guys have just had a long-term commitment. Um, children can kind of be a big topic right now. Like, are we gonna have kids? Are we not gonna have kids? Or if you do have kids, you feel like you're not paying attention. You guys don't have that communication with your kids. You guys don't have that partnership that like, oh, we have family time or we have family night or family dates or whatever, family dinners, whatever it is. You need to be a little bit more vocal when it comes to that and for yourself. Like you can't be always the one, you know, initiating everything if you are with someone. So let's see what else for my Scorpios. says worth waiting for and it says give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so exactly what i'm saying so it's worth waiting for so, so so some of you guys could be like you know what maybe we shouldn't be together or maybe we should break up especially with retrograde um right now people this is breakup season you guys breakup season so be very cautious of your words your words could be hurting um, a little bit more than usual. I feel like sometimes my Scorpios, you guys have, you guys are very sensitive, but you guys don't like to show it sometimes. Um, <clears throat> so really be vocal, um, but just be careful with your words. Don't be saying stuff that you'll regret later. You know, don't be having a fight with your partner and then be like, you know what? I think we should break up or you know what? I should move out. Don't move out, you know, sleep on it, talk about it, really express your emotions because this person is worth waiting for, you know? If you have not met this person yet and this is not your story, um, just take what resonates, you know? W wait for the person of your dreams to come. Um, give this relationship a chance. Maybe um, you need to work on self-love and self-care. And maybe you're the person that you seek or the type of um, guys you like or the type of woman you like, you need to like flip it in reverse because those people obviously aren't working out. Maybe if you like the bad boys, maybe if you like the bad girls, or maybe you like this and the third. Spirit is just really wants you to change that type of mindset because those people will just break your heart, you know? that's just like a fuck around like fuck around and find out type vibe you know like bad news stuff like that so i really feel like you're healing your inner child right now um your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so healing family issues so i feel like sometimes healing family issues and really talking to your parents or just forgiving your parents maybe you had to grow up quick maybe um you can you grew up caring for other people but yourself so when you are alone or if you um, have trouble expressing your feelings due to you growing up, um, just stuff like that. I feel like you really need to heal that so your love life can get better, you know? You deserve love. It's okay to be affectionate. It's okay to, you know, cuddle with your boo and watch a movie. Like, you don't have to be so poker face, you know? 
it's okay to you know forgive your past i feel like some of you guys hold on to the past and you guys feel like you guys will never forget because it's feel you feel like it's literally you know like a karmic tie like something that will like forever haunt you but you really need to let that go you really need to let that go that's like a big issue healing maybe you have like a, a lot of um like triggers right now um, so whoever you're with or whoever you're going to meet, there's going to be a lot of passion with you guys. It says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and also past life relationship. You guys have known each other before. So I feel like if you have not met this person yet, you guys are going to have a lot of passion, a little hot and heavy passion could be a fire sign. Um, I'm feeling earth signs as well and air. Um, and you guys have known each other before. There's going to be a lot of chemistry between you guys. Um, things are going to be coming quick and heavy um and it's gonna lead to a long-term relationship if you guys are gonna start dating if you just kind of met them this person is very serious they know what they want they're not a confused man or a confused woman they have no like baggage they have no drama no feelings attached to anybody else like they're ready for commitment is what i'm hearing and i feel like that's what you've been waiting for and you've been calling in your soulmate and you're just like i i'm ready for all that love um that love feeling all being like that cupcake phase you know all in love no one can tell you anything all that good stuff so that's all i have for you scorpio i hope you guys enjoyed become a new subscriber comment and like share um and i will see you guys in the next one